So the T-Wing Mars XTR has been on our short list of electric scooters we've wanted to test off-road. And so we're here at this beautiful trail in Oakland to do exactly that. But as you may know, the new Segway ZT3 just came out. And so we definitely wanted to try this off-road because that's what Segway markets it as, as an off-road scooter. And so I thought it was the perfect time to test out both of these, kind of compare two different price points in terms of off-roading capabilities. And uh, yeah, I got Ray Mir with me behind the camera and we'll give you our thoughts about these. This will also be my first time riding this scooter. So it'll be a good chance to give my general riding impressions as well after Paul's review. So let's go. All right, here we go. Right off the bat, this front suspension is actually really decent. It's a little bouncy. It's a little plush, you know, you're going to bottom it out pretty easily. I'm 200 pounds, but it does feel nice. It will be nice for these trails. You know, this isn't anything too crazy intense, but I think it is a good starting point. If you're wanting to do some off-roading, this is kind of the stuff you're going to be looking at doing. And there's some rockier sections. But yeah, like I mentioned, this is the first time I'm actually out on this thing. And as usual, Segway has really delivered a, you know, you can feel the quality. This is obviously going to be, you know, a little bit more of a budget scooter. I think people were disappointed when this wasn't a super high end scooter. But the reality is, is that their super top end scooters just don't sell as well as these more budget minded ones. And so I like that they've gone the route of taking you know, going budget minded, kind of going in that same price range as their, their better selling road scooters and kind of applying a off-road touch to it. I think the biggest thing when it comes to scooters and off-road capability is the, the knobby tires. You know, you obviously want good suspension but with how small the wheels are and with how little travel you get generally um, from suspension, you're gonna, you know, most scooters except the most well-equipped, you know, we're talking like Wolf King GTR levels of suspension are gonna bottom out, are gonna be a little, you know, a little bumpy on this off-roading type stuff. You, you know, scooters, as much as, you know, brands want to say, oh, this is an off-roading scooter. That kind of just more means like, oh, it can handle dirt roads and that kind of stuff. And if you apply that definition, this scooter is definitely, you know, an off-road scooter. You can kind of hear how chunky that suspension is. You know, it's not amazing. But for the price, I think it's getting the job done. Another thing people were, I think, a little disappointed in is that they didn't go for more power or something dual motor or something along those lines. But in terms of power, you know, top speed of, I think, close to 25 miles an hour and even like uphill on dirt like this, it's not having any issues. I don't think you're going to want to go like a ton faster than this anyway, even if it could go faster. So in terms of off-roading power and speed, I think it's totally fine. I think it's great. It'll be fun to kind of jump on the uh, the Mars, the XTR after this and kind of see um, if the extra power that it offers makes a huge difference on the off-roading stuff. But it's not like this thing is slow. This thing is plenty quick. And these dirt trails, when the when the bushes are close to you, the trees are close to you like this, like it definitely feels a lot faster than it actually is. Build quality is great, other than kind of some noisy suspension over the rocks and stuff. Uh, there's not really any noise coming out of this thing and it's pretty solid. Um, I know another kind of controversial thing was the cable brakes, but at the price and for what you're using this for, I don't think you like absolutely need hydraulic as much as I love hydraulic and would love to have seen it. Um, I haven't found that the cable brakes are like underwhelming or anything like that. I think they work great. All right, Mars XTR. This thing is honestly like too fast for its own good, especially on these trails. I just have it in two mode two out of five still in dual motor. 
not bad. I was really hoping this would compete with the Wolf King GTR in terms of like off-road feel and suspension and that kind of stuff. But it definitely has a lot like a lot less nimble feel to it. I think a lot of that has to do with the height, the deck height, and the suspension is definitely not as good. But I mean, obviously you're going to be ripping, you're going to be shredding trails with, with a scooter like this, pretty much no matter what. And these knobby tires, like I was talking about on the Segway, like the tires have a lot to do with how it feels off-road and the traction you're getting and that kind of stuff. Um, let me go up to three here. It does pretty good through these rocky sections, but you can definitely feel the weight of this scooter a lot more than you can with some of our other top off-road performers. Now, the real question is, I think, is like, are you getting a significantly better off-roading experience with this over like the Segway, right? Because there's a huge price difference between these two. And the reality is, is that especially like in these wind, in these uh, wet conditions here, and with these kind of tighter trails, it's honestly like not like an insane upgrade of performance. You have a little bit better acceleration. And, you know, the suspension is a little bit better. It's not, you know, bottoming out constantly. And obviously this is, you know, this is a good off-roader, but it's definitely not like whatever the price difference is, you know, three, four, five times better than that ZT3 in terms of off-road experience. And so in that sense, Segway's done a good job of valuing or of like putting value into the right areas of that scooter. And saying, hey, yeah, this is an off-road scooter. You can go have fun, you can go zip around trails like this and have a good time and you don't need to buy a you know three four five thousand dollar monster scooter to get that experience so we did a video a while back of like the top five off-roading electric scooters and if i recall correctly we put the the segway g2 max in there because of its full suspension and its hybrid tires and it actually did woo, a decent job on the off-road section. And so I would say that the, the ZT3 definitely would take its spot on that off-road list. However, the XTR, as fun as this is, and as good as this is off-road, I definitely don't think that it would replace any of those other scooters that we put on that list. Um, I think this is an insanely fast performance scooter. Not I think, I know it is. And I think it's really good value for the money, but does it dethrone any of our off-roaders? I actually don't think so. That being said, if you're already looking at this scooter and you want to, you know, get something that's capable on road and off road, obviously this is going to be a great choice. This is not to diminish this scooter at all because bang for the buck, this is one of the best super scooters on the market, but just not quite good enough, I think, to break into our top five list. Be sure to go check that out. We'll link it down below and in the end card as well.